I'm with Charles Black, the founder of SEN, Space Exploration Network. Charles, when did you first become interested in space? I used to try and imagine what existed before the universe, and I always remember there was uh, on my way to school, there was always a certain set of traffic lights when every day I seemed to think about the same issue. And I really sort of struggled to try and comprehend the idea of, of nothingness. The blackness of space or the blue skies all sort of disappearing. And that question really stuck with me and I think that sort of generated an interest in space. And where did this idea for SEN come from? When I was about 16 I really felt like I was an entrepreneur and I wanted to get up every day and use my entrepreneurial energies. I wanted to try and create a business without a, a boundary in space or time. And hearing those words sometimes sounds strange, but it's absolutely what I wanted to do. And I thought, I need to create a news business that can just keep going on forever. And I combined that with my fascination for space. So now it's because you've got the technology, you've got the internet and all sorts of access available to you, is it? Putting videos and distributing video online is cost effective relatively to the old days. And we're seeing the convergence of internet and, and television. So that's obviously very important because it means that, although obviously it needs budget, it doesn't need the sort of the level of budget that it did you know, 20 years ago. You've created a very successful uh, quoted cloud computing company. Other people in the IT business, like Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Elon Musk of PayPal, for example. Mm -hmm. Somebody I've now met in Formula One, Richard Branson. A good friend of mine, Guy Liberté, who uh, founded the Cirque du Soleil. A lot of entrepreneurs interested in investing in and, and engaging in the space travel. Yeah, it's a fascinating time. NASA's recent budget this year, they've just you know, uh, agreed to give millions and millions of dollars to private enterprise. Jeff Bezos from Amazon creating Blue Origin, Richard Branson's created Virgin Galactic. And these companies and there's several others are all looking to, to try and create a market and taking people up into space. And are you going up to space? Yes, uh, I am. I'm signed up to go with Richard Branson's operation. Um, the only caveat, obviously, is, is safety and, and being reassured you know, through the testing process. Virgin have a fantastic record on safety, and there's a lot of testing going on this year and next year. But obviously, I've got a young family. I need to be confident that you know, it is going to be very, very safe. But other than that, I need to go where my mind has always been, and I want to get that different perspective of Earth from space and it's central to the send message so I, I feel the need I have to have been there and seen that and experienced that myself. So creating SEN is a fulfillment of a dream that you've had now for 20 years. I've been sitting on the idea and had the vision all my life I just want to get on with it now it really is the time with just the technology is right the space exploration market's right the world needs uh, an operation that can promote awareness raise interest in space and make it mainstream and I think there's a great opportunity to create a global brand here that can then really do good uh, you know, for mankind. But there's massive scope here, isn't there? There's so much unknown out there. You know, the science is extremely interesting and we're, we're learning more all the time. Commercial space travel sh w is likely to have a big knock-on effect here. But we're going to see a lot more people being able to afford to put maybe medical experiments into space and, and other, other equipment and ideas and inventions into orbit around Earth, which is going to really hopefully accelerate some of the benefits that we can get from space. Satellite technology, medical experiments, weather forecasting, and all of that will enhance our daily lives on on this planet. Something I can't get my head around is the concept of infinity. For mm. me, everything has to have a beginning and an end. And, mm. and if there is an infinite mm. universe out there, surely mm. there are other planets that must have life. There can't just mm. be one tiny planet yeah. in the, this scale that we can't even get our head around. There's 200 billion stars we can see in our own galaxy. There's billions of galaxies out there. Uh, all created from the same space and dust and nothingness. So it's hard to think that you know there isn't life out there. But that's in a way one of the most uh, exciting questions because if we actually knew that we are the only complex life form in the whole of the universe, that makes us very, very special. And maybe we should be looking after our planet and thinking about ourselves a little bit differently. If the answer is that yes, there is actually other complex life out there, that's equally interesting. And what will you be satisfied to achieve in your lifetime? If we can give people a lot more original thought and a lot more realisation about the reality of where we are in space, that we're sitting on this rock, going around this sun with a very, very fragile atmosphere, and the more and more people understand that and realise where we are and understand space as being this as part of mainstream life, then I think, you know, I'll feel that I've, you know, contributed, you know, in my lifetime to, you know, the progress of our species in the solar system. Charles, it's fascinating listening to you and understanding your passion and belief and, and you're following this dream. So I wish you the very best of luck with SEN and I'm sure it's going to be a great success. Thank you, Martin.